Kitov. Good morning. We continue with that three minute daily dose of Torah. Uh, we are uh, looking at the following Pasuk, which tells us the beginning of chapter 22. Don't see different animals that belong to your brother, fellow Jew. And you might decide you're going to turn away from them. Hashev Tishivem Lachicha, you are obligated. A double mitzvah, a double verb commandment. You shall certainly return them to your brother. Because our inclination is that I just don't want the headache of um, having to take care of uh, his animal and, until he, I can get it back to him. So there are headaches involved. So um, we're not going to discuss what the finances, what you know, if, if there's an outlay that you have to make in order to, whatever it is. But you have an obligation as a Jew not to turn away, but to help repatriate um, people's possessions to them. In this case, we're talking about the animals. Um, and, but the Torah makes it clear, going into the Pesach Gimel, b'chein tasa l'chamoro, also right, for his, whether it's for his donkey, b'chein tasa l'simlato, or for his, his cloak, b'chein tasa l'chol b'ed arachicha, she'et tovat mimenu. And that's so should you do for anything which is lost to your brother, which um, has been lost to him. Umitzata, and you find it, you are not allowed, really basically, to, to, uh, to um, blind yourself, to, to turn away from them. I'm going to tell you what happened last, a, a week and a half ago. Two weeks ago, I was in Shachar's Minyan, and a person comes up to me, he has a mask on, um, so I, and, but even if he had his mask off, I wouldn't have known who he was, and he says, Yuchayim Martyr, I said yes, and he pulls out a Tanakh. I'm going to actually show it to you, hold on. This Tanakh, right here, Lots of tape on it alike. And he says, okay, this is how it works. I was a student at Yeshiva University um, around a few years after I had graduated. Um, and he said there was a, a big closet full of uh, people's books that had been left behind. And we're told it was Hefker. It was actually free for the taking. And he said, I took it out. And I saw in the cover, Chaim Murder. <laughs> well, it's in race. Memory is child race. You know, I, thought, I thought it was a funny name. And... Um, he said, you know, and I took it, I borrowed it, I used it, I took it as my own. And he said, I even had your son, he's from Cleveland, I even had your son Akiva in my home. <laughs> and I never made the connection between memory, child, duration, and martyr, and your son. But then I, um, and whatever, I was, he was said he was coming to White Plains, and he said, aha, that's who it is, Rabbi Martyr, I am Martyr. And he says, here you go. So we're figuring um, it's a little less than, I mean, it's 38 years maybe 38 years, 39 years ago, I had left this book there, and, um, and he decided that he was going to return it to me. Now, these are different circumstances, because in that case, I presumably had, uh, you know, had, had uh, you know, given away my, my, uh, my control over the item and all the other things that are involved, and actually has Lamed Hey Vav, Lashem Ha'aretz and Moloa, which allows him to certainly make use of it, that everything belongs to God is your way of saying, don't worry about taking it, it's not stealing to use it. And at that point, it was his. And yet, there was something in him that wanted to really go out of his way, ultimately, to return to repatriate the lost item to its owner. That's how long you can take to fulfill a mitzvah, and so it was. And uh, we should all make sure that we're there as well to help create such mitzvot too. Wishing you all a great day. Have a great day.